Hey, what is up YouTube? It's Luke W coming back at you with a quick informational video. We're gonna throw this in the Amazon informational playlist. And by the way, if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you guys uh, have been watching for a while, you'll notice we got a new lens on the camera. So we're gonna be testing this out today. Along with the video I'm gonna give you guys, it's gonna be all about your Amazon barcodes, your what is an FN SKU, what is the UPC, which one am I gonna send to my supplier, what do I put in my product uh, listing. So I'm gonna break all this down for you guys really quick, so let's get into it. All right guys, now let's start out with what a UPC code is. If you don't already know, this is a unique product code. So every product ever invented that's sold in a store will have that little barcode on the back that's what the UPC code is. Now in terms of Amazon, this is the code that you're gonna need to just get one of and you're gonna put it in your product listing under the detail page where it says product ID. That's all you need your UPC code for. So once you get that in there, uh, I actually got mine at, uh, where was it? Barcodesmania.com, but they actually charge $5 for a barcode. After I realized I could go to Nationwide Barcode and get like 100 barcodes for $5, I was like, I'm gonna go stick with that. Now Amazon was talking about they need a certified GS1 barcode. Those are about $700. And they haven't really enforced any of that. And really any barcode that you get from a reputable, reputable website like Barcodes Mania or Nationwide Barcode, those are all gonna be working for you guys. No problem when you get that into Amazon. So with that out of the way, uh, your UPC code is what you're gonna need to have in there uh, in your product detail page before you guys can get your Amazon barcode. Now the Amazon barcode is called the FN SKU. This is what you're gonna be sending to your suppliers so they can put it on each of your products and Amazon will recognize your product when it is in the warehouse. So the reason that you need to create your listing and get your UPC code in before you get your Amazon barcode is because you'll have to have a created listing all set up so then you can uh, see a little checkbox next to it in your inventory section. So you'll basically check that checkbox. You can go straight up to the actions tab right there in manage inventory and you'll be able to see the drop down menu that will say print item labels. So once you do that, you'll get an item label which looks like another barcode. It will say the product name of your product Basically, you will get a downloaded copy of this and you can really just say that you need one of those. You send that one in a little message over to your supplier. They're gonna copy that barcode for how many products that you have and basically just paste it on each one of your products. So when they get sent into Amazon, your UPC code will be reflective of what the FN Amazon barcode is and they will both link together and Amazon will know that that is your product for your listing. The last little hint I wanna give you guys uh, to make sure you're not getting any problems at all is gonna be if you're getting an error message with trying to print your item labels, you're gonna simply go to your Manage Inventory tab again, click the checkbox next to the product that you're trying to get item labels for, and you're gonna go up to the Actions tab again, and you can simply press Change to Fulfilled by Amazon. This is gonna let you print those item labels out with no problem. After that, you're just gonna send those item labels to your supplier uh, in a little message on WhatsApp or whatever you preferred, and they're gonna put it on each of your products and you'll be good to go. So that's all you need to know for your Amazon barcodes. Really just breaking it down for you guys one more time, putting that UPC code into your main product description page under product ID is all you need your UPC code for that you bought on Barcodes Mania or Nationwide Barcode. After you have your UPC code all set up, you're now able to go print your item labels for your product that you'll send to your supplier. This is the FN SKU. You're gonna get that simply like I told you guys, press the checkbox next to the product that you wanna print your labels for, go to the Actions tab in Manage Inventory, and you're able to pull up the drop down menu and simply press print item labels. So I hope this quick video guys helped you out. Uh, the lens I hope was pretty cool for you guys, but stay tuned for the next videos. Give this video a little thumbs up and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Talk to you soon. Peace out.